morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Fulani. And um, well, my guest this morning, quickly tell you about my guests, um, our dear friends of the house. It's been a while, we've not seen them, but um, we thank God they're here. Malaki Ugumadu, lawyer and national president of CDHR. Good to see you again and have you again, Malaki. Thank you. I'm delighted and to be here. Indeed. And uh, Mr. Ademola Adekoke, communications consultant. So nice being here this morning. Indeed. Once again. All <laughs> around. <laughs> back at home. Yeah. Now, with the, I thought we might just look at the whole problem of, you know, corruption because it's it's still a burning issue. Uh, it's it's one of those age-old fights. The president has said that in this term he intends to do more uh, in, in in that light to fight corruption. As you know, there's been all the, there's been this question about um, how how well the fight against corruption is going, but there's a secrecy involved in the fight. That is to say, we had thought that the Freedom of Information uh, Act, now that we have that, it took us some time to get there, we could just ask for information. Anybody, any Nigerian could ask for information. Now, that's not turning out to be so. And this is something that led um, uh, Femi Fala no SAN uh, speaking at a, a stakeholders' um, dialogue on corruption in Nigeria last month in Kano, I believe. Um, he was actually saying that, as far as he was concerned, and here I'm paraphrasing him, that the federal government has actually failed to show commitment uh, to the whole idea of fighting corruption. And he was probably voicing his frustration that uh, SERAP, you know, an accountability project, had actually petitioned the Code of Conduct Bureau for, you know, some asset declaration forms. And SERAP, SERAP had been explained to that um, it's not quite like that, that um, they are not at liberty to, you know, um, give, it, give, give SERAP what it wanted because there was not the enabled the provision for for it yet. And the provision had to be provided by the National Assembly. So that was the background to Mr. Falano saying that he didn't see that we were yet serious. If we were not if there was not a concerted effort to lift the veil of secrecy so that everybody can know where we are. Um, is, is this something that's necessary is what we need to ask. Is this something that is necessary because they explained to us that um, well it's the law but how about the morals of it? The president has, more than, on more than one occasion, said that, look, this is a democracy, and um, I have to follow the law and all of that. But it does make things grindingly slow sometimes. The, whole, the Code of Conduct Bureau not being able to furnish anybody. Malaki, am I correct in saying that? The way we thought about it was that anybody could approach the Code of Conduct Bureau or any other uh, agency or organ of government with the right application based on the Freedom of Information Act and uh, get, get it. But it's turning out to be not that easy. <laughs> You've uh, said so much. Uh, the background to the statement credited to Fallon and Yes. We must also be interested in the context. Yes. Uh, but please grant me the indulgence in sure, backtracking sure. a bit. Of course, to, say to, that, look, to repair all the damage that one might have done. Please. <laughs> we used to have the Official Secrecy Act. Mm. That was a huge stumbling block in access to information. Under the Constitution, which is a ground norm, higher in rank than mm. the Act, we have the Freedom of Information. information. We have Section 22 of the constitution, which empowers you in the media to hold the same government accountable to the people, mm -hmm. including, of course, uh, bringing forth information as much as you can get. Now, and then this Freedom of Information Act. Please let Nigerians be reminded that this act took not less than seven years right. in, mm -hmm. in the making. Yes. Mm. That is to quickly capture the nature of revolution and how it is received and accommodated uh, in, in a society that is largely impervious to change and then transparency. That bill that became an act was not an executive bill. It was a bill crafted and pushed from the civil society. I will not uh, forget uh, 
the media right agenda in particular, mm -hmm. the media rights agenda. that fought consistently, I think I'm being conservative by saying seven years, but there about. Mm. Now, when it came, the full implementation of it is what we are now battling with. Yeah. Now, I talk about putting it in context to say that, look, the law is there. You cannot pick and choose the aspect of the law that suits you too late. Secondly, is that once the law exists, do not forget that we say the law is always an ass. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. It will depend on what the society, you know, do with it to make it effectual and even consequential. In that regard, we are talking about a critical mass that is first of all aware of the existence of that law, two, willing to test that law, and three, push through in the face of all the odds, including the request. So how does it play out? Um, a request has been made, as we understand. It does not lie in the executive, albeit the president of the country, to explain why and how it will not work. Uh -huh. Once the custodian of that public information, which is the philosophy behind the law, yes. is unable to discharge the function of his office with respect to that law, uh -huh. It activates the right yeah. of the applicant to contest the propriety or otherwise of that decision. Okay. And, and, and you know, we're, we're, thank you very much for, you know, explaining it, for clarifying it up to there. Uh, take the Code of Conduct Bureau, for example. Mm. Um, they have said in writing to Serap as a result of, you know, an exchange between them uh, that um, actually um, the forms, the asset declaration forms, happen to be private documents and that they are not at liberty to release them uh, unless there are certain provisions that can only be made by the National Assembly, for instance. And we know that's another big impediment coming. So still staying with the law as you have okay. explained it. Private documents in public custody. Yes. Yes. So if you claim so, that so. they are private documents, yes. now in the custody of a public institution, mm -hmm. so how, how does the work? law also give the applicant access to that? My answer is yes. I recognize that the freedom of information... Sorry, sir, because these asset declaration mm -hmm. uh, forms, they, they, uh, they affect only public officers, right? Yes. Uh -huh. So public officers, but suddenly now... These, uh, they, they, they see these, in, uh, these uh, forms as private documents of those public officers held in a public that, you that, know, that's organization. My, that's my point. So what is the purpose of, you know, I try to talk about existing, <laughs> existing <laughs> laws. <laughs> what is the purpose ask, of uh, the freedom of information? There case? you go. <laughs> it is to remove the toga of secrecy. Yes. To take away the obstacles that are in the way of transparency in governance mm -hmm. and then give greater access to the citizens of every country that you know have such law to be able to assess those information. Those information having been supplied to public institutions comes within the purview of the category of inf information captured and contemplated by the law. So the, the argument is neither here and there, uh, and that's why I'm happy that Serap had gone further. Mm -hmm. Going further is to say, come, my, yes, approaching the independent arbiter to say, this is the circumstance in which we have made this requisition. This is the response of the custodian of this information, and we have been told that under the law, specifically section one and two, that where such information is refused, on account of some of these reasons given, it is the court that will be able to interpret whether they are right or wrong. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that my view is that they were wrong to have refused that. Okay. We are aware of issues surrounding... And, uh, you and know, that is what is being tested so, in court. Surrounding now. security, mm -hmm. surrounding... Oh, yes. So on and so when it forth. comes to security... Those ones, those ones are understandable. understandable. But, but the whole purpose of enacting that law is to advance and improve 
transparency in government. So that. And then give, give citizens greater opportunity and access to information. To exactly. Be able to Okay, so Demola, when you look at it from, from the point of view of um, the, the, the morals of the whole thing, and first of all, Maraki has so you know, kindly set the whole scene for us. But now the, the, the whole moral aspect of it, when, if journalists, for instance, want, just want in the course of writing a story or doing a research, want, don't want to be speculative, want facts, uh, it's, it, it, has, it has been seen that it's not going to be easy to get uh, the required information from uh, the CCB, uh, for instance. As you were saying, it defeats the whole purpose. Uh, I, see, I, uh, for me... We're looking in some instances. Uh, uh, the president, for instance, I think he actually put his own assets out there in the public. No, 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 so did the, the vice first, president. Uh, yeah, yeah. A few people have done it. Yeah. I think Fire Oshie has uh, done uh, it. No, Fire Me. Uh, I, beg, I beg your pardon. Fire, uh, fire Me has done it. Yeah. So, uh, but... Where you are reluctant to do it for whatever reason, and it hasn't, it hasn't become an epidemic, following the president and the vice president and fire me and maybe some other people, certainly some other people haven't mm -hmm. done it. It hasn't become an epidemic and all the ministers mm -hmm. have done it, all the governors have done it. And so when governors, uh, when, when journalists want to force the issue, they now find that the interpretation of wall. CCB... Uh, yeah, yeah. For, for me, maybe we, we need to first ask, even when such declarations are made, what is the purpose. What is the purpose? The purpose for me is for the public to know and to have access to the information that has been declared. If uh, it just stops at me declaring something that, you know, giving you a piece of information that, and there is no way for you to authenticate what I have said, is the purpose not defeated? The purpose is defeated because the, the reason why I have given that information is that anyone that wants to find out mm -hmm. should go and find out. Yes, because it's not a private declaration of asset. I think it's a public declaration of asset. The law requires you to declare, to declare it. To, to make declare. it public uh, to is make a discretion. Oh, it's a discretion. Uh, I see. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, that, so that's why uh, some people... No, no, don't uh, confuse yourself uh, about okay. that. And that was why when the debate came up, even with uh, mm. Buari in the mm -hmm. first time, the law requires you, mm -hmm. obligates you, not requires, mm -hmm. to declare your assets. Yes. That declaration is oh. the completion of that form and submitting it to okay. CCB. Okay. Okay. The, the, the idea of making it public mm -hmm. is discretionary, and that okay. is the level of transparency that you want to, and that, you yes. want to bear on your okay. thesis. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, EF, thank you for that clarification. The, and that's the where legal some, some people short-circuited it, like the president short-circuited that uh, uh, by... Voluntarily Le putting it out yes, there in the public. There. Yara Dua did. Uh -huh. So did Yara Dua, Yara so did Oshibajo, uh -huh. and a few people. But not everybody has told that line. But 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 does that not run counter, you know, to the FOI Act? It does, because the FOI Act, you know, enables. People uh, to ask. People to ask. You can you ask. Know? You, you can, can ask. You can, you can ask. ask. You're uh, not precluded from asking. You, you can ask. You can ask. But so whether the, you will if, get if the is another question. If the institution, if the institution, you know, that is in the custody of a piece of information mm. is refusing access to it, I think I made allusion to yes. that. And it's not a it security a, matter. And it's not a security mm. matter. I think... It, you know, it not behoves that citizen, mm. you know, the applicant. To go further. To go further. So for me, for me, you know, refusal of access, you know, defeats the very purpose. And that's where I think Falan or SAN was, was able to use mm. the couch, the, uh, his expression about the federal government, you know, as far as he was concerned, mm. in this uh, stakeholders uh, conference, the dialogue that they had in Kaduna last month was saying that the federal government had failed to show commitment Hmm. to this whole matter of transparency. Maybe if there was indeed commitment, intense commitment, no doubt this whole matter could have been sped, uh, sped up a bit. And I was going to say, I was also going to say that, uh, you know, no law is sacrosanct. Hmm. Yes, for now, the law has made it, you know, optional for the declarant to make it public. Y yes, uh -huh. it doesn't compel him to do uh -huh. so. Uh -huh. Can't we also go for that? That's, that's, that's where I want to come in from. Okay. Yeah. You see, when the president yeah. made a public declaration mm. of his assets, mm. 
that was supposed to be a signal. Indeed, mm -hmm. he, 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 the, the measure of transparency you intended to bring to bear on your government mm. could be measured by that kind of behavior. Mm. And then having done it, you would have directed, as mm. it were, yeah. that persons who are serving under me uh -huh. should. Sh yeah. You, you know? You are not obligated you, under you, the you law, but it is desirable it is for a transparent that, yes, gov government that, that you shouldn't have a problem that, that with that concept. Have a problem with that. Yes. Now that didn't happen the first time. Mm -hmm. There was no air around it. Mm. He, he just did it and then and then retreated, mm. uh, which was why and people, let everybody to behave then, according you know, to their own conscience. Which was why many Nigerians were in two minds. Could it be that it was just Mr. President and Vice President that are interested in? Making this fight, their, this fight this, against this, uh, corruption. corruption. Mr. Falana, who had said the federal government had not shown the to, to full, commitment. Co commitment. Full, full commitment, maybe to referring idea. to the fact that look, this battle of co fight against corruption cannot be a solo battle. It cannot be circumscribed between you and the vice president. To, and when the the majority of the cabinet mm. or persons constituting the cabinet mm -hmm. are driving in, in an opposite direction, so. Look, even the FOI Act that we're talking about makes other elaborate requirements or demands a lot, a lot of uh, uh, activities on the part of the government to ensure the efficacy of the law. For instance, under the Act, the, the custodian of those information are expected to make periodic reports regarding applications that have been made the way a man it was treated to the office of the Attorney General. Okay. Agencies, departments of government are expected to have and conduct trainings, regular trainings with respect to this information and how it could be made available to the, to the public. These are all contained in the law. So that it's not just about seeking this information. There are so many other aspect of this it, law it, it, that if it's fully activated, if they are fully activated and practiced, okay. you will see the intent of the law beyond just it, applying it, and refusing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. at this stage, uh, one moment, please. Okay. Uh, because I wanted to ask some... No, let me not go there. Uh, good morning, Kunle, in the UK. Yeah, good morning, Uncle Yori. Good morning, sir. Thank you for calling yeah. in. Thank you. Um, regarding the fighting against the corruption, and the alteration, alterances made by the, our SAN Falano. The issue in Nigeria is... That you're wanting more commitment need, from the federal government. We need to fight the institutions, not the president. Mm. The, all the uh, Serap, uh, Falano and co, they can take the institution to court. And the court will now verify or give their judgment because we only blame the president. Let us fight the institutions, such as the Code of Conduct Bureau, okay. or Ministry of Education, mm -hmm. or Ministry of Justice, mm -hmm. or whatever ministry. These are the institutions that we need to fight. And then once they are able to fight them, then the rest institution will follow. That is my point. Oh, they are, they are already in court. Indeed. In, 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 uh, by the way, you probably know that setup is already in court. court. Already in court. They are already in court along the lines uh, that you are suggesting. But we know uh, it is you lawyers that say that sometimes the wheels of justice grind, grind slowly, slowly. <laughs> well, uh, and they are, because they have to be particular uh, yes, about uh, what. They, uh, but look, look, the former CJ Onoge hmm. also somehow passed through this whole CCB matter. What, what what happened then? Because there didn't seem to be a problem with uh, accessing uh, information, uh, assets, uh, you know, yeah, the declaration at that time. Mm. It became, aspects of it became public knowledge. So, yeah. I... Uh, no, 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 but, but you, 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 you recall that when, in his own case, it was an investigating 
agency of government. In fact, that, I think it was CCP uh, itself. It, uh, uh, was it, was it, no, it was, was it, uh, well, I, I think I am uh, uh, ICPC first. Oh, oh. Okay. ICPC. So it was so not a matter of it request. Was not a request, it was a request from anybody. Uh, yeah. It was part it of an investigation. It was part of, part of oh, okay, so they can give it up in those kind of cases. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Malaki, the law, yeah. they can yeah. give it up yeah. Yeah. Yes, in yeah, those of kind of cases. Of course, oh, yes, yes, investigation. It, it borders. It borders on you know investigation. Uh, investigation. So this is a, 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 a way investigating a criminal um, a case. So definitely they will release. Yeah. But we are talking of even a private individual that wants to use that piece of information, you know, to establish something. So, um, but so we, we, because it was an investigation, there was access to it. But yes. any ordinary citizen, which is what uh, who, who the was, FOI that, bill was all is, about, uh, uh, cannot. That is still uh, a work can, in progress. Yeah, so that so please, that work in progress has gone far. <laughs> Look, because there are, there are decided authorities on this freedom of information. In short, as I speak to you, there are two. We've gone beyond this pedestrian aspect of it. Can I come back and hear? Very well. We hear it better I, I like because be Daniel good. is in the UK. Good morning, Daniel. Daniel in the UK. Good morning. Oh dear. Uh, Daniel. Daniel. I. Uh, uh, sorry. Please continue, my king. Part of, the, the part of the controversies and debates around the applicability of the Freedom of Information Act mm. uh, has to do with whether it applies to states that have not domesticated it. And, you know, many of these states that do not have freedom of information laws, you know, incorporated into the bodies of their state uh, legislation, mm. will always find an excuse that, no, your act cannot apply to our states, when it has not been domesticated. So it has, that, that matter is presently pending at the Supreme Court. Okay. Unfortunately, the Court of Appeal is divided on them. There are two Court of Appeal judgments. The one is that, yes, it can apply. The other says, no, it cannot apply. The one from the uh, Benin Court of Appeal Division, it says it can apply to all states of the country. So until the Supreme Court takes a final position mm -hmm. on that. So, it's not very settled. So, so it's a sensitive matter. It is. After, apparently, it people, is. people don't want, even, even though you're going to become a public officer, yes. people don't want part of the price of that being that, you know, you're going to have to declare your access publicly. This, this, it just goes with the territory. Mm -hmm. Uh, which somehow is, which that is why I mean. gave you a background to say that we used to have the Official Security Act, we used to have the Constitutional Provision, we had all of these things. And it took as long as seven, six years mm -hmm. to get this mm -hmm. act mm -hmm. you know, op space. operational. So you could see how resentful, you know, the kind of, uh, the society is a bit impervious, you know, not accommodating it. But it will take concrete well, efforts. People are very, you know, people... Such as testing them in court. Financial matters. People are very... The confidentiality of financial matters. <laughs> no. So, because I want to become a public officer now, uh, it's not everybody that can be like Mr. Ashei mm, uh, uh, mm, Makindi okay. in, uh, in Oyo, who has declared 48 billion. That's what it is. Go check it out. Now, he has put it out there. But that's another uh, story. Uh, good morning, Abiodu in the UK. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning, sir. Mr. Thank you very much for calling. Yeah, this is my first time to call your program. Thank you for calling. Um, I'm calling you regarding to the issue that you are discussing about sure. this morning. Sure. You know, my own view about this issue, you know, we, the law of the land, the law is supposed to be for general, rich or poor. There's some law that is favor the top people in Nigeria. And when that Lord passed, they can find a way to stop it for their own benefit. I will say to you as a Nigeria, if they can change that law, that no one, nobody that above the Lord. And I think the, the country will get better. Uh, uh, but Mr. Biodo, right now, nobody is above the law. Right now. They don't need to change anything. Are you still there, Mr. Abiodun? Ah. I'm still with you. Uh, uh -huh. But as you know, you know, you know, nobody's above the law no. in Nigeria. Nobody. My, bro my brother, that's a lot of people above the law in Nigeria. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm in Nigeria. 
Ah, okay. Are, are you with me? I've, I've, I've worked with Nigeria police for so many years before I travel. Oh, okay. Well, it's good. You, now, have, you have locals. This, this is still happening. Yes. This thing is still happening. You know, the law, I, I remember those days when, 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 when I worked with Nigeria police, mm -hmm. that some officers, they always get away with murder. Figur I figuratively speaking. I did more than go, go, go. <laughs> you know, I, I'm talking about criminal things that don't supposed to happen. Okay. Are you getting me? And they get away with it. The sun is still continuing in Nigeria now. You know, I think we, we, we have a lot to do. I believe that the Lord will help us. Okay. Thank you very much. God bless you. Indeed. Thank you uh, very much, Mr. Abiodo. <laughs> Actually, uh, talking uh, about maybe extrajudicial killings or uh, well, know, when it went, no, but, I, but I think basically the point he was trying to his, make is uh, to try that to the see laws don't apply uniformly. God bless you, and that, and that, 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 and that the people should be better empowered uh, to, to push to and push. ensure that no matter who is involved, the law takes its course. Uh, but you know, and we were saying yeah, just before we had to go away to the call that it's a very sensitive uh, subject. I mean, banks, but uh, banks. Don't release information anyhow like that. It's the banks very... can be compelled to release information. Uh, they can be compelled it's again in the, in the if it's an of, investigation it's matter. Correct. You know, um, they can be compelled. They, they, they can be but compelled. apart from that, you know, it's a matter of no, utmost of secrecy. They, 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 they won't. There is even exactly. a customer. But uh, once you're going to become a public official, a public uh, servant, and part of how you will arrive at that uh, office is. You must have declared your access. Mr. Your assets. Uh, Yori, you are speaking to the nature and character of our politics. It is that the politics we play here is even largely defined by the expectation of what comes in. The whole driving force mm -hmm. of the Nigerian politics mm -hmm. is how much you are going to take out of the system. Aha. As against Aha. what you are going to give okay. in to service the to the system and to humanity. Let, let me, uh, uh, Mr. Maduka in the UK, uh, the UK ah, people are really liking yeah, us this yeah, morning. They are no Good longer morning, interested Mr. in uh, Brexit. Mm. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Can you hear us? Good morning. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for joining us. Good morning. Okay, Good morning. please go ahead. Good morning. Yeah, I'll go straight off into what is being discussed. Um, the corruption in Nigeria is so sad that the way we take it, even sometimes when legal luminaries discuss this issue, I begin to wonder. It's a, a simple solution. Here in UK, we still believe, and the law still has it, that you are assumed to be innocent until you are proven guilty. However, the UK system crappily separated corruption from other criminal things. If you are suspected of um, you know, having a certain amount of money that is not deemed to be correct, I mean, uh, genuinely obtained by you, UK system wears the onus on you to show how you made that money. Mm. Otherwise, it is outrightly assume that you have made this money corruptly. The law says, yes, you are innocent. But the point is, this your innocence. It is you who will show how you made this money. That's why a certain amount of cash you carry to bank, they start following you from there. It is you who proves how you made this money. Otherwise, that money does not belong to you. Okay. That's why it is very easy. But the security operatives here okay. they always melt people down. Mm. Okay. With their simple information. Okay. You know, okay. again, um, the uh, freedom of information and. Yeah, uh, we were talking the, about the, the declared asset assets. Oh. Asset declaration is never private. Okay. Otherwise, the intention is defeated. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. But th if thank you very much, Mr. Maduka. I, I, I'm afraid I've got to go. I'm so sorry, but I've got to go to commercial break. Thank you very much for calling. Uh, stay with us, please. We'll be right back.
Okay, welcome back. And we've got Mr. Malaki Ugumadu as well as Mr. Dimola Adeguke. Uh, we're looking at the whole aspect of the commitment or otherwise of the of government, quite frankly, to the fight against corruption vis-a-vis um, -vis the difficulty uh, as it stands of obtaining, uh, using the freedom of information uh, the law, any information from a place such as the CCB, for example. Now, Mr. Maduka spoke with us before we had to go on break, and um, you wanted to comment on, on that. Yeah, uh, I think uh, for me, uh, there are two things, the two, two, two main key, uh, two key points in his uh, submission that I want to comment on. Um, I want to uh, actually agree with. Okay. One, um, he, 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 he talked about the fact that Public, I mean, declaration of assets is never private. It's never private. If you may, if you, you if you, when well. you declare your, when you declare your asset, mm -hmm. it's for people, you're putting you know, it on to public know, record. you know, uh, to, it's for, I mean, so you're putting it on it, public uh, yeah, record that, that is now being is kept not, private. Uh, if you put it in, if you put it in uh, public records, then the private citizens must have access to it. Yeah. The, that, that institution is holding that information in trust for the public. And this is where the complication comes. Because, it's, it, the, because the, 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 so, the CCB so has already is, said uh, that um, this is private information. The, but they are holding it, yes, private, this is but private information, uh, private that, they information that belongs that belongs in, to the public. In the custody of a public in, institution. In the custody of a public institution. Isn't that something of an anomaly? No. It isn't. It's private. No, so that extends to that. So the second point. Is that, you know, he said, even when the declaration is... Yeah, but Mr. Maduka from the UK said that uh, asset declaration is never private. Yeah. You know. Which yeah. is the point he's making. Uh, that is the point I'm trying to make. You too. can see you know? he's agreeing with him. I, I, I agree with him. That even, even when, at the point you were making it, it was private. By the time you have thrown it into the, the public, uh, public, you know, it, 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 becomes, the uh, it becomes public. It is now in the custody of a uh, public, public organ. 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 But understand? that doesn't so, mean it is yet... In the public domain, well, so uh, it is not yet in the public that is domain. What the court will not uh -huh. uh -huh. so, 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 that is so, what Serap is uh -huh. fighting. So, so, so in secondly, court he talks about, you know, he talks about interrogating further what has been declared, and that is my point too. Okay, that you need to interrogate further how you came about what has been declared. Well, you understand? Well. So. Uh, uh, okay. It, it, it's yeah. interesting let to me, find out about that. Uh, uh, let's, uh, let's say somebody comes along and uh, says, um, you know. Uh, okay, this is my assets, and it's uh, seven seven billion dollars. Uh, 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 it's seven billion dollars, for uh, example. What do they just take it and write what I said, or do they now say, uh, "How did you get it?" You are complying with the law. Mm -hmm. The law, both the Constitution and the CCB Act, insists that public mm -hmm. officers must make those declarations. Once you do it, you are complying with the law. Yeah. What the society do. Okay. Does with it. Okay. It, 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 it dependent on what the society wants, wants to do with it. Okay. So, yeah. but please, I I commend Maduka. But Maduka, just as a couple of siblings, direct siblings I have in the UK, should be a bit circumspect in at least even understanding what is going on. The point he makes about drawing a distinction between one being innocent until you are proved guilty. Mm -hmm. And what obtains with respect to uh, corruption offenses mm -hmm. is precisely what we have here. And okay. these are efforts over time. The, yeah. whole, the whole debate and activity around forfeiture, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the forfeiture laws, mm -hmm. is directly on that. You are aware of what has just happened to Mrs. Jonathan. Okay, you, yeah, are Mrs. Aware of, you are aware yeah, of has, what has just happened to Desani Madweke. You are yeah. aware of so many public... Their monies have been forfeited, forfeited to the state. Particularly when they are... In unable, a court process. When they are unable to show or justify those assets that are traced to, to them. Mm -hmm. So, I make the point that, look, it is true that there, there, there's quite a number of efforts that must be put in place in our country to get things right. But... We need, first of all, to understand that the processes are on. And that a lot and that of work need, has been done. We need all manner of supports, mm -hmm. including technical support, okay. to be able to drive them through. Okay, let the, me the Constitution is clear about presumption of innocence. But there is also this, for, if, so the, even the executive order 
that was recently generating controversy from the president is to the same effect. Okay. In, in, in relation to the kind of thing yes. you are citing, Mrs. Jonathan's, uh, what, how many, five million dollars? Uh, no, no, like it's million dollars. Eight million. And, and it, the million judge said that she yeah. couldn't, uh, the, even though the question, was, the, the matter came up by a senior advocate that uh, uh, nobody's, nobody has said that they are missing money. Ah, no, no, nobody no. has said they are missing money. You don't uh, need to. But uh, Reverend no. Dominic, good morning, sir. Uh, thank good you morning. for holding on. Good morning, Uncle Jory. I can't see you again. The, the, the neighbor. Oh. oh, 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 oh. Hey, the the okay, we're still together. Yes. But I heard you. Can, can, can hear you. Yeah. Can I go on? Please go ahead. Okay. Good morning, Barista. Good morning, uh, my friend. Yeah. yeah. Good morning, Reverend. You, yeah. Uh, it, it has come to this point, Jory and the Barista that Mr. President cannot do it all in Nigeria concerning corruption. And this Freedom of Information Bill, mm. but if I know more than I do, that 2003, 4, 5, we are fighting it. Our, it's like our life depends on it, that we thought when we get it, all the whole problem of uh, corruption is over. Mm. But if you yeah. have put us wrong. Yes. But what I want Mr. President to do is this. Hence, there's a law already on the ground. Mr. President can sign executive bill to maintain all MTA, to make this, you know, document available to the public, especially most of us who always go for one, or thing, one, one thing or the other, and you see this barricade, that he, today there's still five marked X to show that it's a, you know, confidential document. But in, de in democracy, everything's supposed to be open, no confidential, but still there's still some confidential document today in MGA. So Mr. President can make, you know, an order, executive order, Mandating MDAs, leave the state alone. Mm -hmm. Some of the states have not signed into that law. Mm -hmm. But the MDAs, at least the federal MDAs, can, the can make an executive order to give them power or to persuade them to give it to, you know, most of us that look for this information. Number two, I want to congratulate the man in Ojo State who has made his uh, declaration uh, open. Mr. Sheyi Makin, Governor Sheyi Makin. Yeah, he has made it open. When I saw his uh, 48... Oh, oh. Uh, okay, look, look again at the government. Oh, uh, yeah. But what is what I think the man come to serve the people of Oyo. Mm -hmm. So my eyes upon Oyo. At the end of his eight years, I could see how Oyo is developed. But I don't think this man go there to loot. He has <laughs> enough money. He switch enough. That's my own contribution. Exactly. Okay. Thank you very much for calling in, Dominic, uh, Reverend Dominic from uh, Alimosho. And I think. There was a glitch when you were mentioning the figure, yeah, but yeah, I think the figure is 48 billion, billion. Uh, total. Uh, it's made up of all sorts of currencies. There's mm -hmm. rand component, that is a dollar component, yeah, that is nara yeah, component, component, that is a property yeah, yeah, component, property, yeah. all sorts of things. Uh, but it all comes to mm -hmm. one figure of around 48 billion, 48 billion. Uh, naira. But Mr. Shei Makinde, the governor, he put it out there himself. Nobody's struggling, you know. Mm -hmm. the, but they are ones that we want. Along the lines of what Reverend Dominic is saying now. Um, might it not be uh, useful? I don't know. There are all sorts of ways, as you said. It's a work in progress, and a lot of work has been done. Mm -hmm. But it might have been nice if the president, for example, haven't done it, the vice president haven't done it. If it was just not not exactly a law, but a sort of a convention that if we're going to serve, yeah. I would expect everybody that will serve to have no problems with declaring his assets voluntarily. I, I, I made that okay. point earlier. And I, Never mind I, the law. I, I the law doesn't make you... You know, they can't force you, but you yourself should be the president or, or the Oshibajo or the Mackinde type of a guy that, oh, I'm going to serve, okay, and one of the bylaws yeah. is that uh, I must have declared my assets. No problem, I'll do that. I'll put it out there myself. Now, it's, uh, it's, it's interesting. It's becoming fascinating to see public actors behave in piecemeal, uh, the way we're getting it in, in contemporary times. I am uh, I, looking at the man who has just made this public declaration. Yeah. After submitting his uh, yes eh? mm -hmm. uh, quietly. Mm -hmm. Yes. After submitting it um, quietly. It comes across to me not just as a gentleman, but a very intelligent person. Mm. And therefore, my assumption is that he is fully aware of the implication of what he has done. Yeah. 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 The, the 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 whole purpose of this declaration is to be able to match your resources. Mm -hmm with your income mm -hmm. and determine the sources. Exactly. That is it. Exactly. So having because done that, because you are putting having, a position having of done trust. That, mm. Having done that, and that, that I think is what Mr. Uh, Dominic mm. means by yes. saying that he has put it forward. Yes. Then you, you come along with yeah. your own uh, position. 
This is, these are the kind of people we have to, to watch. When he came on board, I think it was just less than one week, mm -hmm. he, he, he suspended mm -hmm. the entire local government structure. Mm -hmm. in the, that became very controversial. Yeah. Some of us disagreed with him. Uh, but again, this happened. Uh, the point you made about the president should be what we could raise as a campaign issue. I mean, you cannot be professing fight against corruption, and there is very little. Actually, Mackinde had it as a campaign issue. Oh, uh, this whole matter. He, he, uh, he had it as a campaign uh, issue. Uh, and, should and, he win? And ironically, that he is, would. He would publicly. That, that, but uh, in, in the meantime, uh, so, sorry, Yakub. Yakub, uh, in Dakwemu, good morning, and thank, so, uh, thank you for holding on. Yeah, good morning, sir. Good morning. And then, but, uh, Malak. Good morning. And then, uh, the other gentleman in the studio. Yeah, Mr. Adegoke. Mr. Adegoke, sorry. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yeah, sorry, I think I agree with uh, Mr. Malak. Uh, <laughs> we, some of us uh, is a fan of Mr. President, not because of anything, not because we know him personally. We believe when he was coming first time, he told us want to fight corruption and insecurity. And then we supported him because of fighting against corruption. I think he should be the one leading lead this uh, kind of uh, team. Whereby what uh, Matthew Day did, and then although Mr. President has done that mm -hmm. in the first time, yes. but yes, there's no law that forced Mr. President to tell anybody to declare his assets publicly. But this time around, I'm looking towards Mr. President to make sure that Anybody want to be, be in his cabinet this time around? Should, morally, let's talk about moral here. As a president, I did it publicly. If you want to become a minister under my word, you should do the same. And then, having done that, the, the, the issue now is that the market the governor of your state, has just done what he did. Uh, it's not left to the journalists. I'm talking about investigative journalism here. Yes, he has declared it publicly. But the journalists to be able to, to go on and be able to know how he acquired all this word that he told the citizen <laughs> of your state that he has, so that they can be able to put it in public, so that yeah. some of us will be able to know, okay. yes, he wants it. Yeah, but yeah, if yeah, it yeah. is otherwise, they can be able to say, yes, you declare this in order for you to be acquired when you are going in the next four years, so that we'll be able to hold him responsible that, yes, you declare it asset, okay. you declare your asset yeah. asset. Okay. So that you can be able to get more when you are going. Thank so that you. I have to not to allow him to get that. Thank and God bless. Thank you very much. And that's the point that Malaki mm -hmm. had just mm -hmm. made, that he, the man must be very sure of himself. He knows the implication of what he has done, but it was a campaign issue. And he has delivered on that particular little it, it, aspect. It, it, it he, although he's blown everybody's mind, uh, they nearly, you, you know as we do now, yeah. on social media, Twitter and all of that, everybody was commenting, it's, it's, it's not every day you, you find a guy, that, and maybe that's where he's different. It's not every day that every guy who has 48, 50 million, uh, 50 uh, billion, billion wants to, wants, wants to uh, let the world uh, know no, that, look, I'm no. not hiding it, no. I got 48 billion. Uh, yeah, he, he's done the right thing. Yes, he has. But, you know, uh, but taking a step further for me will be like uh, we have said, someone, um, Yakub said of uh, that what Mr. President should have done um, is, is to have... For um, there to be the in-house condition. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah uh, uh, in-house. And I think, um, I also expect same, even from Sheyi Makinde too, that in my cabinet... In my cabinet, if you want to be a commissioner, you are you want comfortable to be, putting you want your to assets be, out there? You want to be a special advisor to are me? Are you comfortable, are you putting, comfortable your putting your assets out, out there? there? Even, as, even as we speak, I've not heard that his deputy has I've followed suit. suit. So by the time, by the time, yes, we will be having, you know, um, pockets of such, you know, maybe uh, people, kind of you know. Can so by the, so maybe it can catch on. Maybe it can catch on. Maybe it can catch on. Maybe it can So maybe it thing. can catch on. So by the time Makinde enforces it, you know, so on his own cabinet, maybe uh, someone in um, Ebony or Bayesa does it, you know, the president although, does it, although, then it will be catching although on. Although the word enforcement, one has to be careful, I'm sure mm. the lawyers are uh -huh. here. When, uh -huh. But, but we, we, we're talking no, no, about no, no. an understanding. In house. Yes, in an house. understanding. In house. But do you in have a house. problem with declaring your assets uh -huh. and say, oh, God, I can't declare any of uh -huh. my assets. So, uh -huh. Or you can't declare uh -huh. any of your assets uh -huh. and then forget uh -huh. it. Well, it still, it still comes down to enforcement. Yes. So, no, it, it's a matter of then, if you can't, I can't force you, you can't, I can't force you to declare it, but, but, but then my, this, this particular team, I would like everybody like on this team I, to have declared their assets. I do believe that what has become very clear is that politicians 
of present day are oh, gradually beginning okay. to... Sorry, sir. The Daniel that we couldn't get uh, the other time in, in the UK. Good morning, Daniel, in the UK. Daniel. Yes, good morning, sir. Uh -huh, good Two morning. points. I don't want to waste your time. Two points, very important points. Sure. You need to educate the people who call. So stop saying good morning, good morning to Mr. A to Z so that we can catch up on time. Number two, if you make me the president of Nigeria for one day, the only thing I will do and resign, we all need to register our properties and cars. Tell Mr. Buhari. He needs to tell everybody to register all their property and their cars. When they steal all this money, what do they buy with it? Okay. You want, you, you you want hear, assets you declared? You want to save a thousand naira assets, to no get online. Need. And you can view all the properties of everybody. All assets. All assets. Yeah? We need to register the property of everybody in Nigeria. Okay. All the cars need to be registered. We need to know who owns them. Okay. And they steal our money. That is what they send it on. Okay. Even if I did not make a pack a bedroom in the sitting room. Okay. Not driving it, they oh, pack oh. it in the sitting room. Oh, okay, Daniel. Because how much tax are they paying? All right. Thank you very much Thank for calling. I'm, I'm, I'm happy you were able to get in, but you were a bit angry. But um, so what you wanted to say is that people should be able to declare their assets. Maybe a Wh whether it's a house, whether it's a car, mechanism. whether it's a yacht, yeah. you know, whatever is assets, you know, declare yeah. all your assets. You know, it doesn't just stop at declaring assets. You know, mm. the state organizes itself from mm. some of these initiatives. Yeah. Now, when you declare your assets, the regulatory bodies or investigative law enforcement agencies are also interested in knowing yes, what corresponding tax have you paid. Of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In, this, is why, Lagos State, this is why in Lagos when Mackinac did what he did. Yeah. He, he knows he's good okay. with uh, the inner revenue, with... You know, he knows he's good yes. with all those people. You know, you know because uh, otherwise, we, no, no, they're going uh, to be highly interested. Uh, and I, yeah, I was going yeah. to just conclude, sorry, my uh, brother, uh, that uh, the earlier point I was going to make is that if we stay uh, uh, faithfully to, to this campaign, mm -hmm. uh, chances are that we will, beyond saying it, fully understand that corruption has become clearly an existential challenge. Okay. And that if it is so, it is irrespective whether... Mackinder is of PDP extraction. Yes. Yes. PDP yes. never promised us fight against corruption. No, it no, is no, APC no. that vo voiced it, even mm. if they are doing it half hearted yeah, Mackinder mm. is doing about things in an interesting way. Correct. He even has so, opposition so, so in his... Uh, I, I heard that he, he's thinking of Putting opposition party people in his cabinet. His cabinet. So, in his cabinet. So, He's just so doing things in, in a different Lagos way. In Lagos State here in the past, I think when the vice president was the uh, attorney and general, the Delaware, you, you, uh, they, they make no noise about it. Yes. Uh, they just allow you to okay. go acquire what you can acquire. And then you buy these cars and you want to register, register them. It. By the time you are registering those cars, they are also matching it with what you have been paying mm -hmm. as, as tax. Mm -hmm. And that way, the tax exactly. practitioners are able to... Quietly. Uh, uh, good morning, Mr. George. Thank you for calling in. Good morning, Uncle Yori, and good morning to the house. Thank you. Good morning. Uncle Yori, ordinarily, if you are coming to serve the public, you should declare your assets publicly. Because you are no longer a private citizen when you are serving the public. I think that law needs an amendment, now that we seem to have a Senate National Assembly. That law should be amended that if you are coming to hold a public office, you must publicly declare your assets when you are coming and publicly declare it again when you are leaving. You are leaving. That will help transparency. The American government and people that we borrow this system from, mm -hmm. that is what... They do, mm -hmm. but the press doesn't use it against the people. The fear here is that even if we can politicize uh, insecure, uh, insecurity, they can politicize anything. In your state that we are talking about, as soon as the governor declared his assets, the other party merely came on air to say, yes. this is uh, a false declaration. He wants to lose <laughs> our money in anticipation. That's why he declared it. You can see... You, 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 it will erode confidence in the system because of the way we practice politics here. But that law needs to be looked into and amended in such a way that you will have no choice but to abide with it. I agree with those who say the president should lead the way. Mm -hmm. If I were him, 
I have declared my assets publicly. Mm -hmm. Why would those who work with me as ministers leave yeah, their assets not, in, not, in not, yes. not want to. So we can, for now, Uncle we can only rely on whistleblowing. Yes. It okay. Is only whistleblowing. There, I think there is a law too that uh, you know uh, encourages whistleblowing. People, are, organizations like Serap and others can rely on whistleblowing because if you present a case based on the information you receive from whistleblowing, the security agencies are forced to go into investigation. Mm -hmm. And the uh, CCB doesn't have an option but to comply. Okay. That's how we can do now for until now. the law is amended. That's okay. my suggestion. Thank you very much for calling in, Mr. George. Uh, interesting uh, interesting yes, way of care, Karen, because mm -hmm. until, while, while work continues, Malaki mm -hmm. has been emphasizing that mm -hmm. a lot of work has been done, but more mm -hmm. still needs to be yes, done. Yes, but yes, in yes. the meantime, mm -hmm. whistleblowing, because when I asked the question about uh, the inaugural issue, I said, no, that was different. It was an investigation. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they can, by law, compel them. Now, whistleblowing is also a provision. Once the authorities, the investigative authorities, have information, intelligence from whistleblower, they can access um, these things. Uh, you, you see that... That is possible. That, that's something that can possibly be done pending when we arrive at the uh, El Dorado where it must be public willy-nilly. If you're going to be a public officer, uh, if you're going to serve, you know, in an entrusted capacity, then you just have to declare your assets. After all, Trump must declare. They are pursuing Trump all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he has he kept dodging. Yes. <laughs> they have that for So if you're going to serve, then we must know what you have. Yeah, you know, that kind of a thing. So uh, it's about, uh, uh, well, the, the, that was the original premise. That was when the philosophy. We, that was that the philosophy. The, but as soon as we got there now, yeah. everybody, it's, it's, uh, Malachi referred to the way we do our politics yeah. here. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, you know, a it's, country, it's a country that there. is largely founded mm. on, uh, on secrecy. On and and uh, secrecy. You know, we remain, we remain impervious to this kind of uh, And people will be finding all sorts uh, of dodges. Excuse me. So the, the, the option we have is to go uh, contest it in the court of law. Once the court declares, it gives a, a broader perspective to the law that is in existence. But the fact that Mr. President has done it, the Vice President has done it, Fire Me has done it, and I'm sure there's a score of other people that have also done it. Now, uh, as you were saying, uh, Mackinday, who is, you know, Governor Mackinday, he's not even of the ruling party. No, he has no, done no, it. No, no, he yeah, has yeah, done yeah, it. Yeah, uh, it yeah, might just... Yaradua did it. Yeah, and yeah, before yeah, him, yeah, Yaradua yeah. did it. It just might become a thing of integrity. This is now a moral swag. Yeah. Yeah. It becomes a moral swag. Yeah, yeah, Say, look, uh, even though I'm not bound by, law, by law, I can do it. Uh, I can do it. Is it hard... Okay. Good morning, Mr. Hart. Good morning, Uncle Yuri. Good morning, sir. Please go ahead. Uh, I want to make a contribution on this uh, corruption issue, fighting against corruption. Okay. And the secrecy, especially, yes. declaration yes. of assets yes. part I'm, of it. I'm watching you directly. I'm from Bonnie. Okay. Yeah. You see, um, all the presidents that have been ruling this country, I think uh, President Buhari has tried to resolve this issue. Although part of people that are working under his cabinet, none of them, some of them have not been able to declare their uh, uh, assets. What I want to contribute is that. No, you don't know that. Of the whole Nigeria, every Nigerian. No, you're the, talking about bringing it, voluntarily bringing it out to the public. I think every public yes, officer they must they declare. Public officer must. But yes. voluntarily bringing it out to the public. Yes. Okay. Declare, not, only, not only bringing it out to the public. Registration, if I have 10 buildings, I should mm -hmm. be able to register those 10 buildings, 10 cars, I should be able to register those 10 cars so that the public will know yeah. that this is all what I have. Even the cash in the bank, everything should be registered. I, I thought that's what I think by so doing, corruption will eliminate corruption from this country. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much, you. sir, for calling in. But isn't that what obtains now? That is what that obtains. Is that's uh, how the, 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 the other I aspect know. is that, just so as not to be yeah. confused, that you, you, you do that which, because uh, Malachi had told us earlier that you're obligated under the law. No, no, yes, but you do it the other aspect with CCB. is whether you now share what you did in uh, private with public, the public, uh, that's no, no. That there's no compulsion. The moral injunction uh, that, 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 is, that is why I said there's a, there's a certain power to moral swag. Exactly. Uh, you know, if you're able to do the moral swag and 
haven't done it in private, yes. now bring it out and say, yeah, this to, is what I did in private. Exactly. For everybody, you know, exactly. people now begin to see the kind of exactly. uh, metal. Because what what, what, kind what of you are saying in effect is that I intend to be transparent. Yeah, exactly. This is where I am at the moment. In short, there are some governors who come out, even if I don't believe them, to say that uh, they became poorer at the end of their tenure. Exactly. So, so, <laughs> yeah. so, 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 so. Some, some have said that. But I want to thank you very much, gentlemen, for airing this uh, matter for us. Um, Malaki Uguma, the lawyer and national president of the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, Thank you very much. And uh, Mr. Jumola Adekoke, communications consultant, thank you very much for sharing your perspectives thank as well. You. And um, thanks to you at home too. And especially you guys in the UK, um, a lot of you guys called in today from the UK. Thank you very much. And of course, the local guys as well, airing this whole subject. Uh, uh, join us tomorrow for a fresh edition. I'm Yori Folani. Bye-bye for now. Should I go straight to meet their fellow fairy leader?